Hey guys, it's Ray here at allofourhomes.com. Today I want to share with you our spring kitchen and our new setup for our compost. So spring has arrived at our Victorian farmhouse and we have decorated the kitchen for spring. This is part of our spring greening series, some spring greening with your spring cleaning. So please check out the other videos in our series and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Today we're going to share with you our spring Victorian farmhouse decor and give you an update on our new compost setup. So from one neighbor to another, let's jump into it. We're really hoping that we've had our last snowfall for the season. All of our bulbs are trying to bloom, but only a few have actually made it so far. Our yard is still pretty muddy, so we have our rain boots out for the season and this floor mat that we picked up from Ikea, and we put it in our mudroom slash breakfast nook. If you want to see that makeover, I'll link to that for you all. And we have tulips here that we picked up from Whole Foods. We are growing some in our yard, but they're definitely not ready when we still have snow on the ground. So we just used two bouquets to decorate our kitchen. Spring is a great time to go through your kitchen and clean and restock everything. And that's what we're doing here with oats, white flour, and wheat flour. Now along with our tulips we just put out things that we're using to make a uh, pitipana which is a Swedish hash and we'll have a video for that coming up in the next couple of weeks. But here we have parsley and then eggs and eggs are such a beautiful symbol of spring. So one thing that we've started doing in our kitchen this spring is composting. I got this compost bin off of Amazon and I love that it has this sort of flip lid that's really easy to open. It even has this scraper. I've never used it. I'm not sure how useful it would be, um, but it's so easy to flip this open and just hang it on the inside of our door, our cabinet door, right underneath the kitchen sink. It also has another sort of attachment besides the one I'm showing here that you can use that it comes with. And it also comes with, I think, 20 uh, biodegradable bags. So of course that's important. Make sure that you're using compostable biodegradable bags with your compost. In addition to that, we had to pick up a five gallon bucket here. And I also just ordered this off of Amazon, but you can easily pick one up from Home Depot. And the type of lid is a gamma lid, so that it's an easy sort of screw top instead of having to pry it open each time. In our city where we live, we have a compost pickup that comes every Monday. 
but there are plenty of other options for compost if you want to do it in your own yard or if there's a garden nearby. Uh, you can also pay for different services, I believe, in Washington, D.C. and other cities. We also added some spring scents to our kitchen with the Citrus Grove dish soap. And then this is a Swedish dishcloth. If you haven't tried these already, they're really nice to use. And then some lemon mint hand soap. I got these white pitchers from Ikea years ago. Nothing fancy here. Using the same white pitchers I use almost every season and just putting a seasonal element into it like tulips for spring. I like to keep all of our decor simple, natural, and beautiful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for stopping by our home.